welcome to the vent channel so today we're going to be learning how to make a flamboyant crinoline fascinator stay tuned we'll be needing a big sized crinoline already sewn with bias you know the crinoline comes like this and we sewed a bias at the edge then b6000 feathers matching thread rows i made from a poly material a circular cut out shape from measurement tape alice band needle threaded with the matching thread straight scissors and zigzag scissors which i used to cut out the circular from from a poly material so let's dive in okay as i said before this crinoline has already been sewn with bias just as you see me doing it's the bias is folded at the edge and sewn with a sewing machine all the way down so we've done this already now I'll show you the measurements of the crinoline we are using this is um, 36 inches which is one yard if you fold it into two that tells you that what we are using is two yards that is 72 inches so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be sewing the edges of the crinoline so that's how you gather it together like that and you start sewing now what you do is that you make sure that the hairs you sew starting from behind the hairs that have already started peeling off so you wrap it round and you keep sewing you just sew it tight what we're doing is securing the edges my apologies on the little hand that is showing there that is recording well, I hope you get to see what's happening okay We've done one end and now we're doing the other end, sewing as we did before. Watch this. Okay, so now the next we do is to thread our needle at one of the edge and we sew it all the way down. We're going to be using running stitches. Can you see what I'm doing? That's how we're going to take it all the way down. So, after we have finished sewing it with running stitches to the end we squeeze it like that forming pleats so you can see how i've squeezed it i'm still trying to squeeze it more so you can see
is why you watch if you like what we're doing and you want to see more please do subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any other um, DIY that we do for you here okay so now we're taking the rolls that I made from pulley and we are sewing it down in between that hole not what I call it a hole here yeah, the space in the flower so I'm sewing it from under to the top to grab every part of the flower around so that it's secured firmly Okay, so you can see the flower is secured firmly. So we'll tie our thread there. Then we'll take our feathers. That's how we're going to stick the feathers. So we we'll have to pull out the feather. That was just one that's been pulled out before. From where it's held, you pull it out like I'm doing it. And be careful while pulling it out so it doesn't break. If you can't do that, you can use a scissors to cut it close to the edge. So this is how we're going to be placing it. Now I'm going to be making use of my B6000 to put glue on it. You could use your candle gum or your Uhu gum, whichever one works well for you. So I put it at the tip there. Then I push it in like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing to the feathers that I'm going to use. I'll put the B6000 at the edge and push them right inside. So the nest is to cover our rough edges behind. So we're going to use that circular object that I cut out from Polo. Remember I showed you the zigzag scissors I used to cut it out. Now I'm putting the B6000 around it. Then I turn it. You would leave it for a while and come back later and press it so it stays.